hi guys uh, today we we are going to discuss about algorithm and program to find the second largest number in an array so we are going to de deal with the three programming languages here one is c c plus plus and java so first let us know what is the algorithm and how do we find the second largest number let us suppose that this is the array uh, which has six elements in it the array index starts from 0 to n minus 1 that is 6 minus 1 that is 5 so if you closely look into this array there is uh, there are some six elements in it and when we look into this we can say that 64 is the second largest number so now we have to find this uh, with the algorithm that 64 is the largest number so to know that we need to write the algorithm so this is what algorithm refers to so you may not understand what exactly this algorithm is doing without knowing the logic so first we will be discussing the logic then we later go to the algorithm again so uh, but in meanwhile i'll just go through the algorithm so first step one what you need to do is you need to read an array of numbers it could be any numbers that is n number of numbers in this step 2 you need to check whether the number of the first index and the second index that is 0th index and the first index you have to compare them so that you will first assume that the first largest number and second largest number as either num0 or num1 it depends upon the comparison so in step 2 we are going to compare num of 0 greater than num of 2 if it is true then you are assuming that first largest number is num of 0 and second largest number is num of 1 if it is false then you are saying it as first largest number is equal to number of 1 and second largest is equal to num of 0 so this is what first you are assuming that first two numbers you are comparing and uh, assuming it as first largest number and second largest number so now rest of the array numbers you have to check and mod let us find the second largest number so already you have seen 0th index and first index so you need to go to the second index that's the reason why in step 7 we took as i is equal to 2 so if i less than n so number of arrays we have to check 2 is less than n then you have to continue it so now you have to check whether the index number with 2 that is num of 2 is greater than first largest number or not if it is true that means number of the, the index number at the 2 is greater than first largest number that means what you have assumed as the first largest number is wrong so that's why what we need to do is we need to change the values so if you are saying that first largest number is wrong then automatically second largest number is also wrong right so we need to change that so for that in the step 10 you are writing second largest number is equal to first largest and the first largest is equal to num of i and you are going to the step 14 where you are incrementing i i is equal to i plus 1 again you are going back to the i so now your i becomes 3 so 3 is less than n then it is true so you are going to continue suppose num of 3 is not greater than f largest that is first largest that fine that is fine then first largest is no change if it is not greater than first largest you have to check whether it is greater than second largest or not so for that you are going to the step 12 and checking if number of i greater than second largest so if it is true that means second largest is equal to num of i yes of course because as it is greater than second largest and less than first largest then num of i becomes the new second largest so you have to assign the second largest is equal to num of i and next in step 14 you need to continue i is equal to i plus 1 and you have to go to the step 8 so this follows and at last you will know what will be the second largest number and step 15 you are going to display the second largest number stop hope you might understand some 50 percent but now with the example you might be understanding this just look at this algorithm we are following the same algorithm i am doing the example so this was the example which we have taken there are six integers in an array so now in this what we have checked is we have compared two indexes first 0th index and first index so when we compare this we understood that index 1 is greater than index 0 
so that means index 1 becomes your first largest and second largest becomes index 0 so now we have come into a conclusion that assume that first largest number and second largest number now you need to compare this with the rest of the array indexes that is 2 3 4 5 so here i have taken some uh, coloring where yellow color represents the current index and orange little bit orange color represents the first largest and green color becomes the second largest so here now we are at the index 2 when you are at the index 2 you need to compare what you need to check index 2 number is greater than first largest so you are checking it 30 is greater than 53 is it true false so as it is false you need to check whether the second index is whether greater than second largest or not yes so you are going to check that so index 2 is greater than second largest so 30 is greater than 48 is it true it's false so as it is false there is no change of first largest and second largest so first largest becomes 53 and second largest becomes 48 you can see here right and next now you have to move to the next index that is third index third index value is what 77 now again you need to check whether the third index is greater than the first largest so what is the first largest here 53 77 is greater than 53 true or false it's true as it is true that means your 53 is no longer your first largest as it is no longer first largest then second largest is also no longer exist so what you have to do now second largest must be your first largest because if the third index becomes the first largest automatically the first largest becomes the second largest so you have to assign second largest is equal to first largest that becomes what 53 becomes your second largest then what is your first largest it is your index 3 so you have to write first largest is equal to index 3 so you have written so now it becomes 77 as the first largest and 53 as the second largest so this is what so now in this array you have known that 53 is the second largest 77 is the first largest now we have to move to the fourth index in the fourth index you have 64 and again you need to check with the first largest so what is the first largest here 70, 77 64 is greater than 77 true or false it is false as it is false no change now you have to check whether it is greater than second largest or not so you are going to check with the second largest 64 is greater than 53 true or false yes it is true as it is true that means 64 is not greater than 77 but 64 is greater than 53 that means 64 now becomes the second largest so as it is true you have to change it to second largest is equal to what index 4 so now your uh, second largest becomes what 64 so now now you have to move to the fifth index that is 44 again you need to check with the first largest whether 44 is greater than 77 no as it is not greater than 77 then you have to move to the check whether whether it is greater than the second largest so you are going to check 44 is greater than 64 is it true it's false so by this now it you have to move to the next index as there is no next index by this you found what is the second largest so what is the second largest second largest is equal to 64 if you compare here whatever the values whatever the uh, coding we have written we have done the same thing in the algorithm can you check here if num of i is greater than first largest then you have to change two values one is second largest to first largest and first largest to the num of i if suppose if it is not true then you are going to the num of i is equal to second largest so at this particular time first largest will never change but second largest will be changed to num of i hope you understood now so now we will know how to write in the c language so by this you have found second largest is equal to what 64 so this is how you will write in the c language it's very easy we need to have some five uh, variables first largest second largest i n 
num of 20 so i took num of 20 so that i'll i can take at most 20 numbers in my array it's up to you n is to take how many number of elements does user wants to enter into the array so i have taken that and till here it will store the number of elements into the number so this is our code whatever i've seen you in the algorithm so first you need to check whether we have to going for the only first two variables that is 0th index and first index so you're checking first num of 0 is greater than num of 1 that is true means first largest becomes num of 0 second largest becomes num of 1 if it is false then first largest becomes num of 1 second largest becomes num of 0 so two in two indexes are finished now based on this first largest and second largest we need to check the other indexes that is for i is equal to 2 i less than and i plus plus so i started with the 2 because 0 and 1 are completed so if num of i that is num of 2 is greater than first largest then you have to write s largest is equal to first largest and first largest is equal to num of i if it is false that means first largest there is no change and you need to check whether num of i is greater than second largest and if it is true that is second largest is less than the num of i then you have to write second largest is equal to what num of i so this continues till i is less than n is false so once it is false it, it comes out of the for loop and writes printf the second largest number is s largest so this we have to show this in what c language so show the program same program right so this is the program which we have written here so i need to same program what we have written so i just written here and compile this program so execute compile so enter any number of elements so i took six here so six uh, shall i take the same numbers 48 53 77 64 51 23 by this what is the second largest number i didn't take the same numbers but different numbers but still 64 will become the second largest you see that second largest number is 64 so this is how you will write in the c program in the same way you write the same thing in the c plus plus can you see here c plus plus yeah just however you write in whichever program you write the code will never change for the second largest can you see this is the code code never changes this is same in any of the program so i'll just execute this also compile and run so enter element six elements i'm taking 48 53 30 64 77 23 can you see the largest number is 64 again if you check in these numbers of course 64 is the largest number so this is how you will do in this c plus plus program so but in any program you need to know how to write the syntax syntax is important so in the same way can you if you look into the java program you write in java as a class so public class second largest is easier class and that you have to write main function i'm taking this is the array initialization declaration as well as initialization initialization in java so int so it is of int type array name is input and i took some six integers in it 48 53 30 77 64 44 here also 64 is the second largest so for that i need first largest and as well as second largest i also need i so i took this i so can you see this this is the uh, uh, code which we are writing everywhere same yes or no yes so for in first we are checking 0 and 1 so if it is true then first largest will become 0 second largest become 1 else first largest becomes 1 second largest becomes 2 0 and then we are checking from the 2 and input dot length is the method to find the length of the uh, uh, length of the array so length dot length gives the length of the array that is 6 here it is 6 so it will check this and shall we see the output yes this is a program which is already written so i'm just executing the program so program is java how to compile java compiler and the program name is second largest largest dot what is the extension dot java so if there are errors it will show if not it will show the command prompt so we got the command prompt and we need to execute java second largest so whenever you are executing there is no extension so second largest number is 64 directly we got because already i initialized i initialized the array right so this is how you'll write in java c and c plus plus thank you so much please do subscribe my channel